What's up guys? So do you have a Benelli M2 tactical shotgun that you can't figure out how to take apart? Well in this video I'm going to show you how to disassemble and reassemble the Benelli M2 tactical. So stay tuned. Alright guys and here we have a close-up look of the Benelli M2 shotgun. So the first thing we want to do is to make sure that your gun is unloaded, which this one is. You can see there's nothing in the chamber. Just pull that back, make sure it's empty. There's nothing in the magazine as well. So the first thing you want to do is lock the bolt to the rear. And in order to do that, hit your cartridge release lever right here and just pull the bolt back and it'll lock in place. So we're going to remove the barrel band first. So just take a flathead screwdriver and loosen that up and then you can slide it over the barrel and magazine tube once that's loose. Okay, like so. And then we are gonna take our magazine uh, tube out first. This has the extended one on it. So when you're unscrewing this, be careful because the spring is under pressure and it will shoot out. So just be careful when you're loosening this up. So we can set the tube aside and pull out the spring. Set that aside as well. So next we are gonna take our barrel off and the handguard will generally come with it. So you're just gonna kind of pull it forward and then the handguard will slide off of the magazine tube, just like so. And then you can separate these two just by pulling them apart. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is remove our bolt. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the release button right here and slowly bring it forward. To remove the bolt, we're gonna take our lever here and just give that a quick snug pull out. Set that aside and then your bolt will be able to slide forward. So looking at your bolt, in order to take this apart further, you have your firing pin right here on the back side, and then you have its retaining pin right here. So what we're gonna do is you wanna place your finger over the firing pin so it doesn't spring out. Kind of push it in just a little bit. And then you're gonna pull this retaining pin out, just like so, and carefully release your finger off of that because there is spring tension. And then you can separate your firing pin from the spring. And then we are gonna take our retaining pin out here, which is this one right here, to take the locking head out. So usually if you just flip that over, it'll fall out and then locking head will come out as well and then inside there is the inertia spring so that is the fully disassembled bolt and then on here the last thing we have to do is take out the trigger group which you can actually take your retaining pin here and push this trigger pin out just pull it through and then you're gonna pull it out the back side there and now I'm gonna kind of lift it down and out that comes right out and then this is about as far as you need to take it apart to do your general cleaning you have all your bolt areas here and stuff like that wipe them down with cleaner um, as best as you wish and then to reassemble it we'll go ahead and start with our bolt so what we're going to do is we're going to take this inertia spring and stick that in there like that take your locking head and then this part right here is gonna be the one facing up. So insert that, just so you can see that hole through there. And then you're gonna take your retaining pin and there's a line in it, I don't know if you can see that, but you want that line facing straight back towards where the firing pin is gonna go. So drop that in there. And then we can take our firing pin, put the spring back over that. Put that back in this hole and then what we're going to do is you want to press that in there to hold it in place while you take your retaining pin put it through that hole in there and it'll hold that firing pin in place as well so the bolt is fully assembled all right so now we will go ahead and insert the trigger group you want to make sure that the hammer 
is cocked to the rear position and then we're just going to slide that back into place all right once that's lined up you want to make sure you line the trigger group up with that hole and then you're going to take the trigger pin put that back in there and that'll hold it into place so now we can go ahead and take our bolt and we're going to slide that back into the receiver so you're just going to slide it in just like this you want to make sure that this lines up with the trigger on there and it'll slide right in and then we can take the lever push that in as well and just you want to kind of just function test it make sure that it rides in and is locked in place. Go ahead and lock it to the rear. Um, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take, put the barrel back in. So we will take the barrel and then the handguard and you're just gonna slide it over just like that. And we're gonna slide it back into place. And then that will lock into place once it's in there and you'll see it'll be tightened up like that. So now we can take our magazine spring, insert that back in, take our magazine tube, slide it over, and then gonna press the spring in and then we're going to tighten it down. Be careful that it doesn't come loose and have the spring come flying back out at you. All right, get that on there nice and tight. All right, now we're gonna take our barrel bands, put those back on there as well. You'll see that there's a larger opening down there that goes over your magazine tube. Put that back on there. There's this little notch here that will line them up. And then just tighten that on there. Use a screwdriver. Get it about hand tight. And that is it. We can go ahead and function test. Make sure that locks to the rear, which it does. Pull the trigger. Make sure that resets. And we're good to go. So that is the basic field strip of the Benelli M2 tactical shotgun um, for cleaning. If you guys found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching.